what's up guys this is Tito back with another video on the redmi k20 pro and today in this video i'm going to be showing you the latest stable android q based pixel experience from for this redmi k20 pro so let's begin and you can see i have downloaded it from here and this is the 4th december 2019 build and i have flashed it with the orange fox recovery and with the dfe or the fcrypt disabler and you don't need a gapps of course because this rom already includes the gapps in the rom file itself so let's begin now let me just show you quickly the about section here as you can see this is how it looks like android 10 version over here shows up and i have been using this dark theme the security patch is still of november 5th 2019 not the december security patch yet and the stock kernel here is the immensity plus kernel so it should give you definitely a lot great battery backup and a really good performance and here you can see the like build date again 4th december 2019 let me go back quickly from here and if you go into the system and advanced you will find the system updater from here and you can check for updates as you can see whenever there is a new update it will show up over here and let me show you the developer settings too here but i could not find any kind of advanced reboot in this rom of course this is pure stock android kind of rom so I'm not expecting it, but this is quite a disappointment that we do not even get advanced reboot option. We have some like really cool things which I do not see in other custom ROMs. That is this front camera effects. And as you can see, there are multiple effects like this. This is just the sound whenever you open your front camera, it will make the sounds like MIUI. So yeah, these effects are there and there is this show animation. The stock camera over here is the like snapdragon kind of camera and this is how it looks like as you can see not much of things over here not a great camera app and here you can switch the camera just like this and as you can see it does the sound even in silent mode it happens so looks great and by the way i have installed this google camera if you want to install it here is a card for you and you can install this google camera and you can have all the like three lenses working with this google camera and let me tell you i have not installed the anx camera yet but you can flash the like version 158 anx camera and it should work fine now let me talk about some more things here of course this is pure pixel experience so there are no customizations at all in the ui and here is how the power menu and stuff looks like let me just quickly go to the settings panel and disable the like dark theme from here let's go to display and disable the dark theme so here is how it looks like without the dark theme of course and while i'm in the display settings let me show you the display settings here you can turn on the like night light and stuff which makes the display yellowish then we have the auto brightness and then we get the styles and wallpapers you can customize it as like however you want let me go back then we have the dark theme option of course and the auto rotate screen then we have some color customizations like the natural boosted and adaptive we cannot really call it a customization but yeah there we go and we have the lock screen like display stuff and always on display is there but like let me talk about the always on display whenever i'm locking a device and like trying to unlock with the fingerprint scanner as you just saw like i would say it is worst i don't even know how they are calling it a stable build but do not take it from me as a hate speech or something but let me tell you like i have seen a lot better experience with the evo x rom and as you can see it just like while setting up let me show you what i'm talking about so as you can see i do have like two fingerprints set up over here but while setting up the fingerprint scanner this is how painful it was just look at this it doesn't detect look at this again it detected doesn't detect doesn't detect doesn't detect detected doesn't detect doesn't detect like do you see this even setting up this finger mid scanner is like a pain in the like you can guess let me go back from here if i try to unlock the device with the like left thumb let me show you it just doesn't unlock at all but i do have the like fingerprint set it up over here as you can see it just simply does not unlock but right now it does unlock like with only one attempt as you can see so again it doesn't unlock but it unlocked again let's try again unlocked at one attempt let me do it again unlocked at one attempt now let's do with the left thumb again 
doesn't unlock still no hope so as you can see with the right thumb it is working with the left thumb it is weird unlocked again and unlocked again seems like there is some kind of ai which is learning the finger with time but sometimes it still doesn't unlock even with the right finger if i just like tap it like this oh it did unlock doesn't unlock still doesn't now it did kind of weird so i would say if you need the fingerprint scanner working perfectly this is not a rom to go with as of right now this is just my personal opinion now let me go back in the like settings over here again let's go in the display settings again and in the advanced we have the double tap to wake option so double tap to wake does work and the anti flicker mode is there so that's good now let me go back and in the sound settings there are some good things in the advanced settings we have the me audio direct and you can see there are multiple options like for choosing your headphones and there is youth edition and stuff and the sound output is great there is also hi-fi audio i like that and bluetooth audio devices are working fine over here too but it does not show the bluetooth battery stats on the like bluetooth icon on the status bar but once you scroll down on the quick settings panel it shows the battery life over here of the bluetooth device of course now there is touch vibration touch sound charging vibration and sounds but there is no screenshot sound disabling option let me show you what i'm talking about right now my phone is in silent mode if i try to take a screenshot of course there is no three finger screenshot gesture but if i try to take a screenshot as you can see it does that sound so yeah that's how it is and what else we have the battery and you can enable the battery percentage of course from here and the battery life should be great it can definitely give you about eight plus hours of screen on time at least that's what i think and this rom does support 18 watt fast charging so not a issue and this is how the volume panels and stuff looks like you can expand it just like this and whenever you are connected with a bluetooth device or something it will show the device over here and you can change the output device from here and here the stock launcher is of course you can guess this is the pixel launcher what do you expect more like here as you can see pixel launcher so this is a stock launcher here and the good thing over here i would say we do get bunch of live wallpapers and these looks really amazing as you can see we have like lot of live wallpapers even these kind of live wallpapers i really like this earth so i'm using it here we have landscape textures and lot of like the wallpapers you get with pixel 4 i think you get everything over here now this is how the like app drawer is and one good thing is that you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the like quick settings panel or the notification panel to the left we of course have the google now cards but there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen at least like in these settings i could not find that and let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open this file explorer to twitter then open play store youtube now let's open instagram now spotify now let's open all the apps from memory again and as you can see as this is like a pixel experience rom this runs like really smoothly no issues whatsoever and here is the android score of this rom and talking about the app you know, speeds and the ram management i would say it is handling really great even with the 6 gb ram variant so i'm impressed with the ram management and the app opening of speeds the snapdragon 855 is handling everything really well here and the optimization of the pixel experience is really good as of like right now i can see this is working great the app switching like is really fast not a issue and you can clear all the apps from memory again from here as you can see and by the way the drm info shows as level one here so you can play amazon prime and netflix videos in 1080p now let me quickly go back from here and the google pay is working fine here that's a good thing well it doesn't open for me with the fingerprint scanner right now as you can see doesn't open i am like just fed up about it <laughs> and here we have the like recorder option so that's great and let's see so without headphones i think it doesn't work as you can see right now it is stuck at zero zero so you have to plug in a headphone or something to get it to work or to get it to transcript but as of right now this is how it is so what do i think about this pixel experience from well 
if you are someone who does not need any customizations and you are someone who really really likes stock android and you can carry your whole day on stock android without a need of even double tap to sleep or status bar brightness adjustments or all those things like that if you are someone like that definitely go for this pixel experience rom this is gonna give you the most closest experience of a like pixel device on your redmi k20 pro that i can say but of course it should have came with the google camera pre-installed or something i don't know that's just me let me show you some more things like the stock dialer so this is how the stock caller ui looks like and there is no call recording option and stuff again pixel kind of stuff but the vault calls does work fine and the gaming performance and stuff should be really good and you can play on extreme settings i think and overall the ui performance i would say it is pretty great not bad at all but again i'm not a guy who like can live with like pure stock android but i love stock android with a little bit of customizations i cannot like live with pixel experience rom that is the truth so thank you so much for watching again give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the pixel experience rom on the redmi k20 pro running android 10 this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now